Hello everybody, welcome back to TDT Outdoors and uh, today we're going to be ice fishing. This will probably be the last day uh, on the ice this year. It's going to be about 35 degrees today and then the next two days it could reach 50 and uh, some rain. So I'm sure the ice will not be safe after uh, the next few days here. But uh, I took off early from work today. It's a beautiful day out and uh, I'm going to go try to catch some perch. I'm going to be uh, using my Widowmaker lures that I usually use. Before we get to the rest of the video, I want to quick talk about Widowmaker lures and their products. They have a huge selection of high quality tungsten jigs that come in some awesome colors. They have silicone and foam jig cases along with other fishing accessories and they also carry a number of open water favorites. So go to widowmakerlures.com and check out their website and you can save 10% when you use code TDT10 at checkout. I can guarantee you you won't regret checking out their lures as it's some of the best lures I've ever used and they are definitely fish catching machines so go check them out. I'm using tungsten jigs and then uh, on my other two rods and my tip downs I got uh, slab seeker spoons and I'll be running those as dead sticks with minnows on there so I'm hoping we can catch some fish today if not I mean it is what it is but uh, I want to try to get out one last time before the ice is gone because um, I'm sure I'm definitely going to miss it, but I'm really excited for turkey hunting coming up and, uh, you know, trout fishing, walleye fishing and whatnot. But um, stay tuned and we're going to go catch some fish. Alrighty. We are out on the ice now. And I'm going to get some holes punched, get my tip down set up, and then we'll start jigging. So this here is what I'm running on my dead stick. It's a Widowmaker Slab Seeker spoon and a, a widow bread color. But I just, you know, hook hook your rosies like you normally would, and uh, that's what I use on my dead stick setup. And then here on my jig rod, I'm starting out with a gold tungsten dropper. Uh, I believe it's a four three or four millimeter three mil not four millimeter and a wax one and we're gonna see if we can jig some of these fish up oh yeah let's tip down over here just get whacked come on dude just take it all the way You got my middle. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, dude. They're messing with me. So far, just a bunch of small bluegills. If it was big bluegills, it'd be a different story. I'd be okay with it. But they are tiny. Oh, racing up. Good fish. Good fish. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Not a good fish. Good fish here. Don't come on pin this time. Heck yeah. That's what we were going for. A little jumbo perch action. Bet you the first one I missed was uh, at least that size, if not bigger, but heck yeah. I do want to take some fish home today too because these are absolutely great eating and uh, it's hard not to keep a decent ear perch when you, when you get them. Uh, obviously all the bigger ones um, I don't keep. I don't keep any perch over 12 inches and most of them, if they're close to 12 and really fat, I let them go anyways. But this is a perfect eater size. Um, let's try to get some more of these today. Get 
Dom's getting smoked. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's on there still. Heck yeah. Another good little eater here. Oh, I just got hit on a dead stick. Oh, blue giddle. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Alrighty. Another perch here. So it'll be just a little, a little too small to keep. Little perch. Off to be a jumbo someday. Mark Lyman. Oh yeah. A bite. Ooh, it's a good bluegill. Bluegill's not on the menu today, but it's a really good gill. Heck yeah. It's your lucky day, buddy. You get to go back home. And you get to keep the wax horn. Oh. Yeah, he's still on there. He's still on there. Yep, feels decent. Heck yeah. I recently missed two good perch on my jig rod. Alright, we are rebated. You ready to keep fishing? Are you kidding me? It's going again. Oh, here's a bigger one. There's our first real jumbo of the day. Let's go. Literally just got this set and sat back down. Looked over here and it was getting hit already. It's our first real dandy. Okay. Oh, it's probably about 10 inches. Took us a little bit to get a decent one, but here's our first bigger one of the day and definitely not too big to keep. And uh, we'll definitely keep that for the pile. Heck yeah, not, uh, not going too bad here. Here we go, bluegill. Bluegill. Hey, did not notice that right away. Looked over and this thing was just in the water. Another good eater though. That we'll take. I mean these aren't these aren't just absolute jumbles, but these are absolutely perfect eater perch. Let the big ones go back and spawn. And I got marks. I got hella marks. Big mark. No. Come back. Yup, yup, yup. Don't get on caught at the edge of the ice. Nice bluegill, really nice bluegill. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, this tip down getting light. All right, this tip down is getting hit here. Just got this really nice bluegill here jigging. Now I'm gonna catch this perch on tip down. This little guy here. Oh, he's got two rosies in his mouth. Ferocious little guy. He's got two different rosies jammed on his mouth, if you see that. All right, go be a jumbo someday. Oh, oh. Tiny little guy here. Go get bigger, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh 
That'll keep. Tip downs have for sure caught most of our fish today. Ooh. He got gashed up by a pike there, it looks like. Here's that last one I caught in the tip down there. Uh, like I said, these aren't just, I mean, huge jumbos, but these are perfect. Little eater perch. Uh, some of the best fish meat you can get, but. it down and it gets hit again. He might be on there too. Oh, copy. It's a big crappie too, holy smokes. Just got this decent crappie on a tip down here. I'd say it's at least 11, 12 inches, but perch on the menu, so this guy gets the free pass again. Good fish though. Heck yeah, let's go. We want the big perch. This would be a decent perch here. Some good head shakes. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Yep. Another perch with a pile. Heck yeah. Yes, guys. Let's get it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. You gotta be kidding me, dude. As soon as I put it down. Beautiful perch though. Just a piggy. <laughs> Hell yes. Non-stop, just non-stop, just non-stop. I literally just put that back down. Hell yeah, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God. Stick. Way too easy, boys. It's <laughs> not marked on there. I gotta get back down quick. There we go. Feels 
feels like this fish could be decent. I was working that fish for a while. Dear Lord. Yep. I missed one mark. And I was working that guy for a while. And he finally ate. And get back down really quick. There's some more marks. Oh, here's that last one that I caught jigging. Um, my 11th keeper, but God, these fish are just gorgeous. I love them. Fun to catch. Even better to eat. Gumbo perch, baby. Come on, eat it. Eat it. He's chowing on it right now. Yeah, yeah, eat it. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. I think he's got it. Yep. Yeah, good one. It's a good one. That's a good one. The slab seeker does, in fact, seek slabs. Another good jumbo, though. We're going home. Not going home hungry today. That is for sure. Golly. That perch curl is something special. Oh, and he flares out for me. Damn, I love that. Oh, yeah. Eat it, boss. Eat it, boss. I'm just going to come check the depth on this one. It looks like it's getting played with. Feels decent. Golly, dude. There was a fish on it that whole time. Just sucking on it. Another beautiful jumbo perch here. On the tip down. Yeah, really keen on these rosy today, but I've been having some good success too, jigging them up with my uh, jigging waxes. So, got a few more to go to our moment. And then uh, we're gonna head home. Play these bad boys up. Well guys, I'm headed off the ice now. I did end up getting my 15 perch limit. Uh, it took me a little bit, but uh, if I went to miss a few fish, it would have happened sooner, but it was a great last day on the ice. I mean, it's like 36 degrees out here in the sun. It's just beautiful. And just one thing is my car's dead. So some friendly fellers next to me, give me a jump pack. I'm gonna give it a try here and uh, if I can get it back on out of here, get home, play some fish, but I want to thank you guys all for watching. This was an awesome last day on the ice for 2023. So make sure you all go check out Widowmaker Lures. Um, use the code TDT10 for 10% off. And uh, one last time, thanks all for watching and we will see you next year.